Welcome back. Today we have this problem. It's uh, it's a pretty similar to the previous problem. It's like uh, some sort of identical. So the problem is say that given an integral array nums sorted in non the de uh, de uh, decreasing order, so we have a sorted array. Remove some duplicate in 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 place such that each unique element appears at most twice. So we we want to uh, remove any elements that it's appeared more than twice, basically. Um, the um, relative order of the element should be kept the same, so this removing shouldn't miss the the order of the array. Uh, since it's impossible to uh, to change the length of the array in some languages, you must instead have the results be placed in the first part of the array nums. More uh, more formally, if uh, there are uh, key elements after removing uh, duplicates. Then the first key uh, elements of the nums should hold uh, the final result. Uh, it does not matter what uh, what uh, you leave beyond the first elements. Okay, return k after placing uh, the final result. Okay, okay. So so and also it's quite important to make sure that we all take off an extra minute. Okay, so. We have this array, and the result should be have we have th uh, this uh, number has it's appeared more than two times, so we just delete one and we just put in the end, and we just make sure that we're not missing the order of the array. So let's talk about how we could solve this problem. Um, give me a minute. Let me delete that. We'll look at everything. So, there is multiple ways to so to solve this problem. One of them is the to loop. One minute, I move this one. One of them is to loop against each element and try to find if it's there is a three elements uh, from the, uh, the uh, like additional two elements from this uh, elements or not. And when we find uh, one, we just delete it or and and uh, and push it to the end. So basically, we make sure that we we have uh, the same order and we are uh, uh, tracking that. So the problem with this approach, I guess, it's of n uh, squared, and uh, it's not beneficial. We don't want to like when you are in a software um, interview about problem solving when you have any O of n squared just say the O of a squared but uh, don't, don't include it or I will ask it's more um, more better is to ask your interviewer for clarification like do do you want me to start with this solution or maybe I have better solution let's go with the better solutions first so my solution that right now is that we could create some pointer called a uh, counter and this counter will just keep uh, count for against each number and maybe you have the length and whenever we we get um, the, the uh, an element that have more than two we just take one from the length and continue looping it's a pretty straightforward so let's just see how we can do this in the code so let's just see first of all i will just have three variables let count equals one let i because we will use i to 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 um to uh, to loop equals one and i will see what and we put i equals one because we want to compare the elements which is which with the each previous element you know what i mean we don't want to start from the beginning because we start from the beginning um the the the, the, f the, the element in, in 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 zero number zero doesn't have anything uh, uh b before it or it it's not doesn't have anything before it. like before it, it will be the last element so it will, it will cause us some like some pain so we just want to start at number one so make sure that we are comparing this one to its uh, previous value and we will have length equals nums nums dot length And we return this minutes. Okay. And what I am thinking that first of all, I'll just make a while loop while i is uh, less than length. Okay. And I will say, um, 
if if nums of oi if nums of oi equals nums of oi minus one that means we have duplications so what should we do first of all we increase the count but let's just take if our count it's is more than um than two so if after we increase the count if the count if the count bigger than two what we should do that means we have duplication we have a uh, we have a duplication that we have an element it's appeared more than two times so what we should do first of all we take one from the length minus minus and we 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 we, we, we delete it so nums dot slice oi and one okay and it's important to take one from i because we don't want to miss the order because we did the nums dot slice okay and i would say let's just continue yeah let's continue and i will say uh we finish this one i would say okay if if um however if the if if this element equals its previous however it's if it didn't equals its previous we just put the count as equals to one again as it was and uh for each one we make after each loop oi plus plus and we return this i guess that's it let's sum it oh why wrong one 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 uh -huh. oh wait a minute i guess i did something wrong if i nums dot slice i and one i minus minus length minus minus else count equals Ah, 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 sorry. Here. Okay, so let's just talk about how this works. So first of all, let's just take this. Um, this as example. So this is our nums, okay? And our count equals one and i equals one and the length equals uh, six right yeah the length equals six. so first of all i'm saying that okay so we start uh, at index number one so let's say that we have um uh, because i equals one so we are here so i'm saying that if i equals i minus one if i so equals its previous yeah i equals its previous so first of all increase count so count will equals two right now and I'll say that if count bigger than two, no count doesn't, do, it's not bigger than two. Okay, so continue and we just uh, increase i by one. So i is, um, is two right now, okay? So I will say, uh, okay, let's let just continue looping. So if i, right now uh, we are here. If i equals i uh, if nums of i equals nums of i minus one if this equals yeah it equals each other so count plus plus so count right now is equal three however we right now have the count is bigger than two so when the count is bigger than two what we're going to do is that we we splice the array okay so it, it, you find yourself that when you have uh, uh, a splice array okay if you don't know what a splice method do okay i will just give you uh, some examples so let's just look at this uh, examples in 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 um, in uh, from from ChatGPT. So for this one, we have this array, okay, and we have um, the numbers uh, fruits, and we just have uh, uh, we 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 splice one and two. What what we are going to do th not now is that we um, we are removing or we are modifying the, the the actual array by removing these two elements. You understand what I mean? okay so again here again here so for this one we are um let's just splice um ba, 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 ba. 
let's fly so let's just find oh no this is too advanced i guess yeah i guess that's it it's it's if if you if you splice uh, any number or just out or something if you splice any number and 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 uh, and one you just you are deleting that th these the, the the elements so basically if if you look at what supply the plus method is part for array method in javascript that allows to modify an array by adding removing or replacing elements so basically we add remove replace elements we start the index and we delete uh, 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 count so for example for this example we have this one okay so we start at um at 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 um at a, at a, at a two okay and a, a, as we can see we start delete and we ha we, we we add these numbers so start an index you delete the, the index in this one so basically we start again at from f uh, for from one for this for this one you have red you have red green blue and the result is red yellow blue okay we have we have yellow and yellow it's represented by by number uh, b uh, by green because we start on one and we delete one okay we delete one we start from one and we delete one and we put in this place green so what it's happening here we start from the uh, from, from 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 i and we delete it and that's it so this is how the splice method works because i find a lot of questions when i w when i use a splice that what is that it's because I guess most of the people using to use a uh, slice more than splice. Splice the, the, pro the, main the one of the main difference between slice and splice. The splice is modified the array. Slice doesn't do that. So you just to keep that in mind. So when you do slice, we 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 delete this one, and we increase the length by one. And we 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 take one from i because we want to make sure that we are not missing the um the the. Um, the order of the array because of that we're taking uh, uh from i1 and we want to sh make sure that we are we because because we we did a splice here so if if if, if we keep i because i ag any way i will be uh will be increased in a way so we take one from i to make sure that when we add i again we still be uh, we um we will still be uh here actually in two because when you when you delete this one okay and i equals two i will equals three you find yourself you jumped here but you didn't check this one so when you have two it it it, it will work with you that's it you know what i mean because of that we were taking one from i because we're adding to i anyway okay so we take one from i we take one from length and and we we we, we continue we right now have um i equals two still so right now i is here so i was saying that okay if nums of i and if nums of i equals nums of i minus one no they didn't equals each other so count if equals one and i will increase so right now i is three so right now we are uh, here so i'm saying okay if nums of i equals nums of i minus one mm, yes so increase count count equals two if count bigger than two, count is not bigger than two, so we are not doing anything here. So we just increase i. So i equals four. And I'm saying that okay, i here we are in the last uh, element. So I'm saying that okay, i we are in the last element. Uh, if nums of i equals nums of i minus one, no. So count will still be um, count 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 will be one, and we end the uh, the the loop, and we have the length is which was five, and voila, it's working so um that's it for this video this problem is quite medium so if you are absolute beginner i just highly recommend you to watch the previous episode that i have created because the previous episode it's quite similar to this one the previous video sorry and the previous video was, was talking uh, like exactly the same problem but it wasn't that advanced as that so the first the, the previous video has maybe like will walk you through will, will warm you up to to solve this problem pri uh, quite easily so that's it for this video and i hope my solution was quite good if you like my content if you like my solutions make sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss a video and see you in future problems